Hello everyone, I am Brother Zana Devi. Welcome, welcome to my channel, Igwa Yopuna. I want to share the word of God with us today. My heart is really, really very heavy because a lot of people have been deceived and are on their way to hell. And most painfully, many of them don't even care where they want to spend their eternity because they have been totally deceived. I had a vision some years ago, I think about uh, around 2007, when I was living a rebellious life in case God, not because I was lost in sin, but because I had some misunderstanding that was actually after my calling in 2005 when I got the official call of God to work for him. Though I knew I would do this work while I was still a child. But 2005, March 21st, 2005, March 21 was the exact day that I had an encounter. The first time I spoke in tongues. Well, that's not what we're looking at today, but something happened that actually affected my response to the call of God. And that was the revelations I had after that day, even that day, though the Lord told me that a lot of people, ministers are failing him and that many pastors are on their way to the fire of hell, including those who they have succeeded in deceiving. Subsequent times, I had some disturbing revelations from the Lord and I became confused. Though the Lord is not the author of confusion, but I became confused because of my stubbornness and unbelief. The Lord showed me several ministers of God, some general overseers and people I used to respect so much because of their position in the church. The Lord revealed so many of them to me and told me, you see this person is taking my children to hell. You see this minister, I don't know him. And some of these people are actually known all over the world with thousands of followers all over the world. I was confused. My part of confusion is, Lord, if you know these people are taking your children to hell, why did you leave them? Why are you leaving them? You allow them to deceive your children. Why not kill them? I was actually not grounded enough in the end time uh, prophecies, especially about the deception of the end time. There was a revelation that the Lord gave to me uh, in course of trying to convince me because it took me two years plus, about three years for me to return back to God. In fact, I stopped going to church. I told the Lord I won't work for him until he gave me answers to some of the questions I raised, one of which is the issue of false prophets and why he allowed his people to go astray and being led astray, why he is not doing anything drastic to call humanity to himself even after the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary just to restore humanity to God. I know I was asking this question in my own ignorance. One of the revelations I had <coughs> added to my return to God Though I finally returned to the Lord after the Lord sent me to a minister of God who has a ministry in River State here in Nigeria and 
right there I repented. The Lord asked me um, why I feel his presence should be in the church if his pastors run his church like this. Well, that's not what I want to talk about today. I had a revelation. Why I want to share this actually is because a lot of people believe that God cannot destroy the whole world. So I just try to give you a background to the revelation. That is why I am giving you this background. A lot of people believe that God cannot destroy the whole world, that God is a merciful God and that God is a caring God and that humans are very special to God. Now, uh, I had a revelation where I saw the Lord reveal to me how small the world is to Him. I want to share the revelation in this next video. So you can just watch this next video. How the Lord revealed how small the world is to Him. This is just a background. Make sure you watch this next video. Thank you.